shelling by Russian forces struck several areas in eastern and southern Ukraine overnight as utility crews continued a scramble to restore power, water, and heating following widespread strikes in recent weeks, officials said Sunday. With persistent snowfall blanketing the capital, Kyiv, Sunday, analysts predicted that wintry weather Oko bringing with it frozen terrain and grueling fighting conditions Oko could have an increasing impact on the direction of the conflict that has raged since Russian forces invaded Ukraine more than nine months ago. But for the moment, both sides were bogged down by heavy rain and muddy battlefield conditions in some areas, experts said. After a blistering barrage of Russian artillery strikes on at least two occasions over the past two weeks, infrastructure teams in Ukraine were fanning out in around-the-clock deployments to restore key basic services as many Ukrainians dealt with only a few hours of electricity per day OKO if any. Ukrainergo, the state power grid operator, said Sunday that electricity producers are now supplying about 80% of demand. That occurs an improvement from Saturday OKO's 75%. The company says. The Institute for the Study of War, a think tank that has been closely monitoring developments in Ukraine, said reporting from both sides indicated that heavy rain and mud have had an impact OKO but wider freezing expected along the front lines in coming days could play a role. OC Pound It is unclear if either side is actively planning or preparing to resume major offensive or counter-offensive operations at that time. But the meteorological factors that have been hindering such operations will begin lifting it said in a note published Saturday. ISW said Russian forces were digging in further east of the city of Kherson, from which they were expelled by Ukrainian forces more than two weeks ago, and continued OC pound routine artillery fire across the Dnipro River. In the eastern Donetsk region, five people were killed in shelling over the past day, according to Governor Pavlo Kyrilenko. Overnight shelling was reported by regional leaders in the Zaporizhia and Dnipropetrovsk areas to the west. Kharkiv Governor Oli Sinyeubov said one person was killed and three wounded in the northeastern region. A day earlier, a long column of cars, vans, and trucks caravaned away from the recently liberated city of Kherson after intense shelling in recent days and amid concerns more pummeling from the Russian forces nearby could loom again in coming days. OC pound the day before yesterday. Artillery hit our house. Four flats burned down. Windows shattered said city resident Vitaly Nadakai, driving out with a terrier on his lap and a Ukrainian flag dangling from a sun visor. OC pound we cannot be there. There is no electricity, no water, heating. So we are leaving to go to my brother. Okokoko Kedon reported from Kyiv, Ukraine.